Can babies swim in lakes? Since babies do not have the necessary body fat to stay warm, it would be very dangerous for them to swim in lakes. Also, if they fell into the water unexpectedly, they might panic and swallow water before anyone could help them. Hence, no, babies should not swim in lakes as it is too dangerous for them. Why are some babies allergic to lakes? Babies are prone to allergies because their immune system and their organs aren't fully developed yet. So, if a baby goes swimming or waiting for a long time in a lake containing bacteria or irritants that can cause an allergy, he might get sick from coming in contact with these toxins. In fact, there was once a case of three kids developing rashes on the areas where their skin was exposed to lake water. Can babies swim naturally? Of course, you want your baby to be a swimmer from the day he is born. However, whether or not this is possible depends on how comfortable you are with water yourself. Naturally, it will require an additional effort on your own part while you train your little one to love water and swimming. The following tips will help make sure that your baby learns these skills naturally. Number 1. Infants should be within arm's reach of an adult whenever they are near the pool or the ocean. Number 2. Keep young children, head up, shoulders out, when they are in water. This is very important for learning how to float on their backs. Number 3. If your baby's head falls below their shoulders, then they will not be able to float on their back and this can result in drowning if there is no one around them to keep them afloat. Number 4. You can get your baby used to this position by playing with them while they lay down in the shallow end of the pool over a few weeks, while you supervise. Number 5. Once they feel comfortable floating like that, it will become second nature. Also make sure that every time your child enters. Can babies swim in diapers? They can, it's not a problem. Since babies do not, yet, urinate or excrete any fluid, there is no need to remove the diaper before putting them into the water. However, you should only really let your baby have a dip in shallow water though. If they are submerged, the diaper will soak up quite a bit of water and it could take some time for them to go to the bathroom. Swimming diapers for babies. Swimming diapers are diapers that are specifically designed to be used when a child is in or around water. These specific types of diapers have special seals around the legs and waist to keep the water away from your children's sensitive skin while they play in the pool, at the beach, etc. This product is separate from regular swimming trunks, but it can also be worn under those if you wish. Although these products were originally created with infants and toddlers in mind, some parents use them on their older children as well, myself included. Diaper companies such as Pampers make special swim products for infants called Swaddler Sensitive which has added skincare ingredients for babies who may have very sensitive skin or rashes that need extra care. Can babies swim in chlorine? Babies are not supposed to ingest water when they are swimming because most pools use chlorine and other chemicals that can be dangerous for them if consumed. In order to find out whether infants will be safe or not, it is best to check the rules of the specific pool before allowing your baby to swim there. Babies can still benefit from early exposure to water as long as certain precautions are observed so you should only consider this fact when deciding whether your newborn should take swimming lessons. The so-called aquatic nursery was developed for promoting physical development while providing parents with peace of mind about their baby's safety. However, children should still be supervised by a certified swim instructor and a lifeguard at all times. Can babies have water in their ears? Research shows that infants are actually able to develop immunity to certain types of infections after they have been exposed to certain bacteria or viruses that could infect them at an early age when the immune system is still not fully developed. 